How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about tape measures. I have several offerings here from all the top names in the game. We're going to put each one through a variety of tests and ultimately decide which one is the best for woodworking. So stick around to the end of the video and find out. All right, guys, now as DIYers and woodworkers, having a good tape measure is crucial, but there's so many offerings out there, and the truth is almost any tape measure will work as long as it's accurate. But the question we're gonna try to answer today is which is the best? Well, that's a hard question to answer because different tape measures are good for different things. Obviously, the best tape measure for construction purposes is gonna be different than the best tape measure for woodworking. So I'm gonna go through all these that I have in front of me and I'm gonna judge them on a variety of different criteria. And I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best for general construction, the best for kind of your everyday DIY stuff and the best for woodworking. So let's take a look at each one that I have here. I have the old Stanley Power Log. Everybody has probably had one of these at some point. If you look in your grandpa's toolbox, I guarantee one of these is gonna be in there. And traditionally, this is a very good tape measure. Moving on, we have a Lufkin from Crescent. This is a nice heavy duty rugged tape measure with a very large blade on it. Along those same lines, we have the Stanley Fat Max. This is probably one of the most popular tape measures on the market right now. The one I have specifically is the Auto Lock version. I have the Self Lock from Comelon. Another offering from Stanley, this is the Lever Lock. And I have three different versions from FastCap. This first one is the Lefty Righty Flat Back. I have the regular lefty righty and then the self locking lefty righty. So I'm going to try to put aside any preconceived notions I have and look at each one individually. We'll go over all the features of each. We'll test them for accuracy and ultimately, hopefully decide which one we think is the best. But before we get into that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Now let's get in here and take a look at these tape measures. So for starters, I just want to point out that all the tape measures we have here are the 16 foot versions, just so we can give each one a fair shake and compare apples to apples. And to be honest, in a woodworking shop, I really don't think you need a tape measure any longer than 16 foot. If you're doing construction or building houses or something like that, obviously I do have several that go up to 30 foot and I think all those are great. But for a woodworking shop, I think 16 foot is about the max that you're gonna need. Most of the time they come in a nice small compact size and they're affordable so you can keep plenty of them around the shop. Now there are several comparisons out there that are a lot more scientific than what I'm about to do here. I'm just going to kind of go over all the features of it from my perspective and tell you what I think. So first let's take a look at the old school Stanley power lock. Now at first glance this looks metal but it's not. This is just a kind of a uh, chrome plated looking plastic. So the Stanley power lock is your basic generic tape measure. It has a small exposed hook here that hangs out from the bottom, which can be a good thing because you can just drop this down on your workpiece, grab and pull, and that's kind of the thought process behind this. But one major issue with that when you have these exposed hooks on the end, if you were to drop this tape measure, you could easily bend this and then your tape measure would not be accurate anymore. You have your standard push down locking mechanism here. So you pull this out, push down on that locking mechanism, and the tape stays right where it's supposed to be. And that's gonna be the first thing we're looking at is to make sure this locks down like it's supposed to. Now, obviously without any extra force on it, it does stay where it's supposed to be. But how easy is it to force it in one direction or the other? So if I just grab here and pull, it's very easy to continue to pull this even if it's locked. Same thing for going in, I can easily, it doesn't take much force at all to push this right back in even though it's locked now let's take a look at the measurements here now here on the hook this does move now if you guys are not aware of this it is supposed to do that the purpose of this is so that you can get accurate measurements whether you're butting the tape up against something or if you're hooking it on the end and pulling and so that little bit of movement that you get there is going to be the width of the hook so if i'm pushing against a board i get an accurate measurement if I'm hooking on the end of a board and pulling, it moves out the thickness of that hook so that I'm still getting an accurate measurement. If it didn't do that, 
then every measurement you took could potentially be off the width of the blade. Now I have a pretty standard look here. We have a yellow blade. We have nice big text for our inch markings. And in between we have markings all the way down to a 32nd of an inch. So that is really nice. I like that these go down to a 32nd of an inch. Some tape measures will only go down to a 16th. So you can potentially get a little bit more precise and accurate with this tape measure because it does go down to the 30 second marks. Going further down the blade, you can see we have a nice large arrow here marking at every foot along the way. And moving on down past the one foot mark, the markings change just a little bit. We continue the inches here on the bottom, but if you look here in red at the top, we go back starting at one. You can easily see, okay, I'm at 16 inches, or another way you could look at it is one foot, four inches. And it continues that all the way down the rest of the tape measure. You know, one thing that I look for in any good tape measure for construction purposes, if you're building walls and stuff like that, I like to see these red markings every 16 inches. That's gonna be your stud spacing for 16 inch on center studs. I really like to see that. I think any good tape measure should have that marked very clearly for you. Now also, once you get past a foot, the increments go back down to every 16th of an inch. So you do have 30 seconds in your first foot, and after that, you're down to 16th. You also see you have this black diamond here at 19 and 3 16 That's gonna give you your truss spacing. That's another feature for you construction guys. Now, if you look on the bottom of the power lock, there are no markings on the underside of the blade. So you, so you can only read your measurements from the top of the blade. The belt clip here is just a metal clip, nothing special. Overall, not a bad tape measure, just very standard. Now let's take a look at the Lufkin Shock Force from Crescent. This is the Night Eye version. So one thing you're gonna see right off the bat is that we have a black blade here with some bright neon colored denominations. Now obviously right off the bat, I can tell that this is gonna be very easy to read down to the inch marks. These numbers are huge and it's very clear what these are. We have markings down to every 16th of an inch here. And then every foot we have a nice bright neon colored marking. Um, same thing here, we have a small box around the 16 so you can quickly find that stud spacing. You can see here at the top, you have the smaller numbers similar to the power lot we looked at before. We have the same diamond marking here for your truss spacing. And other than that, it's the same all the way down the line. The other thing I noticed right off the bat is this that has a very thick blade on it. So if we compare this to the power lock, you can see the difference here. The blade here on the Stanley power lock is three quarters of an inch. The blade on the Lufkin is one inch, and it does have a lot more of a curve to it. Now, one other thing I do like about this is that you have your measurements here on both sides of the blade, so you can read this from either side. If you look here at the belt clip on the back of the Lufkin, it's quite a bit wider than the one on the power lock. You have a nice large hook here on the end of the tape. And another feature that you're going to see on this one versus the power lock is we can hook here on the bottom of the tape or on the top of the tape. You just had that same kind of push down locking mechanism. So when I pull the tape out, lock it down and it stays right where I want it to be. Once it locks in place, it is not easy to move it out of place. It's quite a bit wider and it also has kind of this rubber outer coating. Uh, this is going to be a lot more heavy duty uh, and resist breaking if you drop it and stuff like that. But just like the power lock, we have that hook extending from the bottom. I would say that this is a very nice construction tape measure, but maybe not exactly what we're looking for in a wood shop. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about the black. Moving on to the Stanley Fat Max. The one I have here is the auto lock. I do tend to really like that auto lock feature. So when you pull this tape out, it stays. You don't have to push down on the locking mechanism here. When you pull it out, it stays there. Now I like that feature because when I pull out a tape measure, I don't wanna have to worry about it going back when I don't want it to. With this one, you have to be very deliberate about it. You push the button, 
and it returns. Now again, with the Fat Max, just like the Lufkin, uh, this is a lot more heavy duty. A tape measure like this is definitely gonna stand up to a lot of abuse and dropping and stuff like that. Now let's quickly take a look at the tape itself. Very similar to what we've been seeing for all the others. We have nice large numbers here for our inch increments. We have markings down to 1 16th of an inch. Nice bright yellow tape with large black numbers. Moving on down, just like the power lock, you have the big arrow at your one foot markings. You have your smaller numbers. You have your bright red box every 16th of an inch for stud spacing. Now again, on the Fat Max, if you turn it over, you have no markings on the bottom of the blade. So all of your measurements are here. Um, other than that, nothing special going on here on this tape. Very similar to the other ones we've looked at. Moving on down, we have the, the self lock from Code Melon. This does have some rubberized outer coating to keep this protected from abuse and dropping. And just like the name says, when you pull this out, the tape stays, and then when you push the button, it returns. Now I will point out that I like the button here on the Co-Melon much better than I do on the Fat Max. This one is just a lot more ergonomic and easy to get to. Now we're back down to another three quarter inch wide tape. The hook here, very similar to the one on the Stanley Power Lock. It does still protrude a little bit from the bottom, though it doesn't protrude quite as much as the Lufkin and the Fat Max. The belt clip here, uh, basically the same as all the other ones we've looked at. Now the real difference comes when you look at the tape itself. So let's take a look here. Again, we have nice large black numbers every inch. We have the big black arrow every foot, and we have the nice red box every 16 inches for our stud spacing. And then the thing I love about this most, if you look a little closer, it actually writes what these measurements are every eighth of an inch. And it does that all the way down the tape measure. I wanna be able to pull this tape measure out and very quickly be able to tell that that is nine and one eighth inches or pull down a little further and 24 and five eighths. I can very quickly and easily tell that because I can read it. Now, some of you may not think that is a big deal. Some of you that are very experienced with tape measures and I'm perfectly capable of using any of these tape measures, whether they have these markings or not but I do like that they're there. I think it just makes it easier no matter who you are. The other thing I like here about the Co-Melon, we have a nice bright yellow tape. And then when we flip it over, we do have measurements on the bottom as well in white. I think a tape measure like this can be great for anything, construction, DIY, and woodworking. Now, moving on, we have another offering from Stanley. This is the Stanley Lever Lock. It's gonna be similar to the other auto locks. So when you pull this tape out, it stays, and then it has a lever here. If you push on the bottom, just like that, it releases. This is pretty cool because if you have this on a workpiece and you pull that tape measure out, and to release it, all you really have to do is push down on the tape measure and it retracts. You don't have to actually grab a button and push or anything like that. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. Another thing I like here is that the hook on the end does not protrude from the bottom. So I'm not worried about this hook getting bent or damaged if I was to drop this tape measure. Now this doesn't have quite as much rubberized coating and ruggedness of some of the others, but it does have a little bit. And I think the fact that this hook is more inset is really gonna add to the long life and longevity of this tape measure. Now, if you look on the back of the tape, there are no measurements on this side of the tape. So we flip back over to the front, Nice bright yellow blade, big black inch markings, the big black arrow for our foot markings, and then the red box for our stud spacing. All of that is very typical across all of these, but you will notice here on the Stanley lever lock, again, we have every eighth of an inch actually marked out here on the tape where we can read it. Now, in fact, one thing that I like about this versus the Co-Melon is that we have our one eighth inch markings in black. And then when you get to your quarter, half and three quarter, we have that in red. Now, while it doesn't have very large numbers, I do think anytime you have the measurements actually written out on the tape, I find that's gonna be easier for most people. Now, the downside is that the more writing you have on the tape, 
the busier it gets. So you could argue that that makes it harder to read because there's a lot more going on here. So it is a little busier, but I still prefer to actually have these measurements written out. I think that is very convenient. Now let's move on to these offerings from FastCap. Now FastCap is not a brand that you're going to find in most of your big box stores. Typically these are tape measures that you're either going to order online or you're going to find them in woodworking stores. Now as we take a look at this, you're going to notice several features that are tailored specifically to woodworkers. So right off the bat, let's take a look at the outside. Again, we have nice rubberized outer coating this does look like it would hold up to some abuse if i was to drop it the hook here on the end does protrude a little bit but not much this is not an auto lock so when you pull this tape out it's going to return right back into the tape just like some of the other ones you have your locking button here so you push that down and it locks and stays in place and with it locked it doesn't seem to easily move once you lock it in place but as soon as you pull back it returns very sharply and quickly, and I like that. Another really cool feature of the fast cap is it not only has the lock here on top, but it also has a button here on the bottom. So while this one is not an auto lock, it returns, you can temporarily make it an auto lock by just pressing on this button here. So if I wanna pull it out and I press that button, it stays until I release the button and then it goes back so you kind of have dual purposes here now let's look at some of the differences so when we get to the belt clip here we have kind of a pinch lever so you have the same thing but you can also just squeeze here and that's going to open it up so you can easily get it onto your belt or your pocket or whatever another really interesting feature here on the outside is you have this large white circle here the purpose of that is if you need to write something down or if you need to remember a measurement so for example if i'm measuring out a drawer opening or something and i know that i need a drawer that is 20 and a quarter by 18 and a half i can write that here on the side of the tape measure so that i don't forget it but this does have a special coating on here so that you can easily just wipe this off with your finger or erase it i think that is a really cool feature that you don't see on any other tape measures that i'm aware of and if you have a memory like mine being able to write down your measurements on your tape measure really can come in handy Another feature that I'm pretty sure is exclusive to FastCap is that it has a pencil sharpener here on the side. So if you're using standard pencils and you need to sharpen them, you can easily do that right here on your tape measure to make sure you always have a nice sharp pencil for marking up your work pieces. Now, let's take a look at the tape itself and you're gonna notice there is a lot going on here. Now the reason this is called the lefty righty is because you can read it from either side. So you'll notice every inch we have our markings where you can read it from this side or from this side. I think that's pretty convenient depending on which direction you are pulling your tape measure out. You can very quickly and easily read this without having to read the numbers upside down. I think that's kind of cool. Now these numbers are quite a bit smaller but still very easy to see. So we have this black box around each of our inch markings to make it easy to see. If we pull this out here, again, we have an arrow denoting every foot. You're also gonna have your red box around every 16 inches. Now let's look at some of these smaller measurements here. So not only do we have this written out every eighth of an inch, we also have it written out every 16th of an inch in red down there. So you can easily see here pull this out on my workpiece, I can easily, very quickly read two inches and nine sixteenths. This is the only tape measure that I've ever seen that actually writes out the measurements down to every sixteenth of an inch. Now again, obviously it does make the blade very, very busy. So for construction purposes, I may need to very quickly pull this out and easily see 17 and an eighth. But in construction, you're very rarely going to need to get down to any finer measurements than that. In woodworking, I find myself often going down to the 16th of an inch. Now, obviously, all of these other tape measures can measure down to the 16th of an inch. 
The difference with the fast cap is that it actually writes it out for you. Now, if you look on the bottom of the tape, we do not have any measurements here on the bottom of the tape. Everything is going to be here on the top. Now, let's say you're not a huge fan of this lefty righty design on the fast cap tape. The next best thing about fast cap is that they offer this same Pro Carpenter tape measure in several different tape designs. So they have the old standby, which is kind of your classic tape measure. Then they have the story pole, so it has a spot where you can actually write on it. Then the lefty righty or standard reverse. Then they have the metric standard. For those of you that don't use freedom units, you also have some metric on there as well. Then you have the metric reverse and the standard easy half that lets you easily find the halfway point on your workpiece. So there are a ton of different tape options that can pretty much fit all of your needs no matter what you're doing. Moving on, we have another fast cap lefty righty. The difference is that this is an auto lock. So all the features are exactly the same as the one we just looked at, except it's an auto lock. So when you pull the tape out, it stays. When you push this nice large button here on the front, it returns. All the markings and everything on the tape are exactly the same. And like I mentioned before, I tend to really like the auto lock function on a tape measure. So take that for what it's worth. The last one we're going to look at is kind of a specialty tape measure and really only falls in the woodworking category. This is going to be just like the other two fast caps that we looked at, but this one is called the flat back. And you'll notice when I pull this out, lock it in place, it is not rigid. That's because it doesn't curve up like these other tape measures that we look at. All of these curve up up and the purpose of that is so that you can pull this tape measure out very far without it bending or falling down and for most purposes that is nice that's a good feature but the problem comes when you want to mark your measurement you find yourself kind of having to tip the tape measure down so that you can get those measurements right up against the workpiece to mark it so i'm constantly kind of twisting and bending at most tape measures when I want to mark down those smaller measurements. Now on the flat back, you don't have that issue. Flat back lays perfectly flat on the workpiece so that you can mark down the exact location without having to twist and bend and pull at your tape. It lays perfectly flat. Aside from that feature, everything about this tape measure is the same as the other two fast caps that we looked at. Now we're going to try to test the accuracy of these tape measures. Now to do that, I have my layout square from eye gauging. Now I know this to be extremely accurate. So I'm just going to pull this out and make a line at exactly 10 and a half inches. And then we'll just go down the line and pull out each tape measure and see if it lines up. So first the Stanley power lock and we are at exactly 10 and a half inches. So I can assume that this Stanley power lock is accurate. Now the Lufkin Crescent. So when I pull this out, this looks to me to be about a 32nd of an inch off from the 10 and a half inch mark. So that is a little concerning. Uh, so I can assume that this Lufkin could potentially be off about a 32nd of an inch at any point along the tape. Now the Stanley Fat Max. Stanley Fat Max falls at exactly 10 and a half inches, so no issues there. Comelon self-lock. Again, exactly 10 and a half inches. Stanley lever lock. And it's very close, seems to me maybe a 64th of a difference there between this line and the marking on the tape measure. That's not a massive problem for your average homeowner or construction worker, but that is concerning for the woodworker. Now, the fast cap. The fast cap, again, falls at exactly 10 and a half inches. Now the auto lock from fast cap, and again, right on 10 and a half inches, no issues there. And now the Fast cap flat back, pull this out, 
Now there's a little variation there. Again, that's maybe a 64th off here on the flat bag. That's pretty surprising, but it is what it is. Honest reviews here. Now, one last concern you may have with a tape measure, depending on your purpose, is how far can I pull this out before it bends? This is a concern anytime you're measuring something long where you really wanna just kinda of push that tape out there and hook it as far away from you as possible. So let's very quickly test that. First, the Stanley Power Lock. All right, so I got out to about 62 inches before that bent down on me. Now the Lufkins. So I assume this is gonna be able to go quite a bit further because it has a much larger tape on it. All right, 134 inches. So we we're able to get quite a bit further out before this tape bent on us. And that's no surprise, this tape measure is marketed for construction. And that is a task that you're gonna need when you're building large walls and things like that. You're gonna wanna really be able to push that tape out as far as you can to hook it on the end of a board and get quick measurements without having to walk back and forth. So 134 inches on the Lufkin. Now the Stanley Fat Max. All right, 142 inches on the Stanley Fat Max. So we did get a little bit further with the Stanley Fat Max. Now this is what I wanted to point out to you earlier, but when I push this button to return it, it doesn't do anything. I have to kind of tip it up and kind of help it along to get it to return. Very slow, very sluggish. I do not like that at all about this tape measure. Now this could be a one-off. You guys let me know, does your Stanley Fat Max auto lock do the same thing? I don't know. But if I show you the Lufkin now, again, this is not an auto lock, but when I pull this out to return it, when I let go for it to return, it comes right back in. So that's one thing about the Fat Max auto lock that I do not like. Now the Comelon. Again, this is another smaller tape, so it's not gonna go quite as far. All right, 70 inches. But again, this is the auto lock. When I pull this tape out and I hit the button, it returns very nice, fast and sharp. And I love that about this tape measure. All right, Stanley lever lock. Sixty-one inches. So I think that's the smallest distance out of all of them so far. But again, you really have to think about the purpose of these tape measures, and is that something that you really are concerned about? But I pull this out; it locks in place nicely. When I pull that lever on the bottom, very quickly and easily returns. No issues there. Now the fast cap. Ninety-eight inches. Now the fast cap auto lock. Ninety-six inches. Now the fast cap flat back. Oh, you have to forgive me. This never happens. Just kidding. So because of the purpose of this tape measure, it's not bent up, so it's not going to hold at any distance. Okay, this is meant for a completely different purpose for getting nice flat measurements on your workpiece. All right, guys. Now, I hope this video hasn't bored the crap out of you. I thought it was pretty interesting to take a look at all of these different offerings and see what was the best for what purposes. Now, before I get in here and tell you what I think about these, I want you guys to pause the video and comment down below which of these tape measures do you think is going to be best for your purposes, whether it be construction, your average homeowner or DIYer, or your best for woodworking. All right. Now, I'll tell you what I think. Now, your Stanley Power Lock, your standard tape measure. This is your grandpa's tape measure. It gets the job done, and there's not a thing in the world wrong with this. It's also probably gonna be your cheapest option 
out of all of these. Now, while it definitely would work for woodworking or construction, it doesn't really excel in either of those. So I think this is gonna fall more into your average homeowner type tape measure, and it'll get the job done for most people. Now, between the two construction tape measures, I like the features of both. Both had some good and bad. Now, for the Fat Max, I hate, hate, hate that when I pull this out and I hit that return button, nothing happens. I really have to kind of help it along before it ever returns. I do not like that about the Fat Max, but in my testing, the Fat Max was more accurate than the Lufkin. So I was really leaning more towards the Lufkin, but these are measuring devices and a tape measure that is not accurate enough for my purposes just gets thrown out. So between the construction tape measures, I'm going with the Fat Max. These middle two, this is the Co-Melon Self-Lock and the Stanley Lever Lock. These are gonna be your kind of everyday homeowner DIYer tape measures. They both have very similar features. They're very similar in size, but as far as the form factor, the function, uh, the ergonomics and everything, I do like the Co-Melon the best. And so I really like this one just as kind of your do-it-all tape measure. This can do construction. This can do your everyday DIY stuff. And it does have some of those finer markings that I'm looking for in a woodworking tape measure. Now, when we're talking about woodworking, there is no doubt that the best one in the lineup specifically for woodworking is going to be the fast cap. The features of this tape measure are just designed and lean more towards the woodworker. And it does all of that while still being very rugged and having this nice rubberized coating on the outside. So the fast cap, definitely the best for woodworking, but this also could cross over into your regular homeowner DIYer, especially because it has all those measurements written out on there for you. And for any of you guys that aren't regularly using tape measures and you can't quickly pick up on those 16th of an inch markings and know exactly what it is, being able to just read it is nice too. So this kind of can cross over into that homeowner DIYer as well. Uh, now, between the two fast caps for woodworking, I do like the auto lock features. So, for construction tape measures, I'm going Fat Max. For your everyday homeowner DIYer tape measures, I'm going the Co Melon Self Lock. And then, for your woodworking tape measures, I'm going Fast Cap Lefty Righty Auto Lock. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you find this helpful? Did you think it was boring as crap? Uh, let me know. I will have links to all of these tape measures linked in the description. So if there was one that you like better than others, you don't have to agree with me. You can just go down in the description and buy the one that you like. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.